The American dream is part of the United States history because it's what gave us many great ideas like the westward expansion on how our country got so big and strong. The, the definition of American dream, in my own words, the American dream is no matter where you're born, who you are, how your life is, your age, your social class, if you work hard enough and put enough effort, you can succeed and move up in life and achieve your dreams. There are a lot of ways to describe the American dream, but two ways in my language arts class that we learned about the American dream. The first example I can think of off the top of my head is the great Gatsby. This man in the book, Jay Gatsby, he, he, was, he was honestly just the perfect example of the American dream because he was born a poor man. He lived a very rural, poor life, and guess what? He decided he wanted a better life. He wanted to chase the girl. He wanted to provide for her better than anyone else could. So guess what he did? He started to get into business, even if it was shady, and he worked his way up until, guess what? He got the girl. He made his life, and he was he, he was this close to keeping the girl too, but then he, his life ended shortly because that's just what life can do to you sometimes. But he really was the perfect example. He had a, he lived, the perfect life he lived in a huge mansion he really did live his dream life and another good example of the american dream is george and lenny from of, of mice and men they're great examples because while they didn't have the prosperity and success of jay gatsby they still go showed great success because they just wanted to live a simple life and own a simple ranch and have some rabbits have a good little farm life so guess what they did they used george smarts and lenny's natural talent of just being a good worker and his natural genetics of being a strong guy. And they went around, worked odd jobs, and guess what? They, they almost had enough money to achieve their dream life. They would have, because they met with the, the, they met with Candy at the ranch. And guess what? They had almost had enough money pulled together. They were gonna live their dream life on the ranch and only once again, life hit them hard like it did to Jake Gatsby and they all came to a crashing end. But if a couple of things had gone differently, they would have had that ranch and they would have had those rabbits and they would have lived a long, prosperous life. Another good reference to describe the American dream is from one of my favorite book series, The Legend of Dritz. I chose this series because there's three characters that come in mind, all of very different lives, but it also shows how they achieved the American dream even though it wasn't on Earth. The first one is the main character of the story, Dritz Stoerden, he was born to an evil family and an evil underground civilization. Guess what? He wanted to see the sun. He wanted to live his own life. He wanted to be a good person and serve the people. So he left. He fought against his family. He achieved happiness. He got married. He lived on the surface and lived a nice, long, happy life. The second is a good friend of Dritz. His, uh, his name is Bruner. He lived in a little cave. He was good friends with his neighbors, and he just wanted to, his American dream was to bring back the glory of his ancestors. So he went, he went on his own journey. He found the, the, the land of his ancestors, and guess what? He got it back into work and function. He brought back the glory of his people, and he became one of the most generous and peaceful kings of his time. And the last example is the adopted son, one of the best friends of Dritz. His name is Wolfgar, he was a barbarian. Dritz and Bruner captured him in battle, started to raise him as his own, and he went from wanting to be a just a savage to wanting to be a good man, have a good life, and cared about his family. So guess what? He followed his American dream. He started to care about his family, started to live his own life, and guess what? He was successful, he lived a long, happy life, and he died a good warrior's death like he wanted to. My American dream is a little bit different than theirs. I want to continue to work hard, I eventually want to get into medical school. I want to invest a lot of my money. That way I can get, gain a lot of money because I want to I want to live a good, prosperous life. I want to be very wealthy when I'm older. I want to have a good family, a good, happy family. I want to keep close ties with all my friends and family, and I just want to be happy. That's all I want to do. I think that's good.